Yo, hello guys. So today I'm going to take you to Kiambu County. So Kiambu County is one of the wealthiest. But this road that I'm using right now is Limuru Road and the mall that you've just seen that is Riviera, uh, <coughs> Roslyn Riviera Mall. And I'm going to pass through Runda because I was on this side. And uh, pass, I'll pass this. This is Ruaka Road, but it's in Runda. Then I think I'll use the north, the bypass, then connect to Kiambu Road for those who know this road. Now, let me just give you a brief history about Kiambu. So Kiambu is one of the wealthiest uh, counties uh, in Kenya, counties same as state. So I'll be heading to Kiambu town, which is the headquarter of the Kiambu county or state, for some of you, you know, for the purpose of understanding. So, but in still in Kiambu county, there are so many towns and actually the the biggest town is Thika, not Kiambu. Uh, but Kiambu uh, has grown over the years, especially in the last decade. The, the, the area has really had, have some, uh, had some tremendous growth in terms of development, which is really hurting uh, the farmland because Kiambu was basically uh, known for coffee, tea, you know, uh, you know, milk in, the, in terms of milk production in the country but has been really affected with the development and um, it, it actually if government doesn't uh, act very fast the uh, the farmlands are really dwindling very fast because of development now there's so many myths about how, how Kiambu, uh, Kiambu got its name and I'll just uh, tell you about some of them, which are very interesting. So there are several theories that explain the origin of the name Kiambu. One of the theories suggests that it was derived from the prominent Kikuyu clan, known as Mbariabu. So Ki Kiambu actually is a Kikuyu, uh, one of the Kikuyu main areas where Kikuyu originates from Kiambu. And uh, who used, so let me just continue, the clan who known as Bariabu, who used to live next to the current day Kiambu town. Another theory suggests that the area used to experience constant shower, hence the name, hence the Kikuyu phrase, Kiabu, meaning the place of drizzle. So the third one says, uh, the third theory suggests that, the, that during the ancient time, Kikuyu and the Maasai would engage in war and scream, from the area that would attract authority, hence earning the name Kiabu, meaning screams, Kikuyu. So, yeah. So, Kiambu basically is one of the main areas uh, where Kikuyu is occupied. So, Kikuyu are the largest communities, in, uh, the largest tribe in Kenya by population. And uh, so, anything to add is that the town is surrounded by hills, Kikuyu farmland, although the and uh, is under urbanization as Nairobi is growing very fast. So Kiambu is very, very close to Nairobi, very close to Nairobi. And people say, so right now, so it, it becomes like a boarding. People say uh, the neighboring towns become like boarding for the city because Nairobi is growing very fast. And uh, guys now prefer, uh, guys prefer to live in the adjacent town cities because the cost of living is a bit fair, and uh, yeah, you find uh, very clean air way better than uh, most place in the main Nairobi city.
times back I brought Tayo, uh, the YouTuber, in this place. And I decided uh, I'll, I'll also try the same with the new camera. So you guys will tell me how you find it. There are so many butterflies across. I think it's because of the rain season. I remember our forefathers used to see, uh, to tell the rains are coming or going, uh, depending on the, they were saying insects. And uh, across everywhere, especially in Nairobi where there's forest or bush, there's so many butterflies uh, right now. So uh, this side seems like it has been plucked. You can see the color. But where, where it, uh, the color looks very light green, uh, that means the place hasn't been plucked. So basically what is usually plucked, like it's usually two leaves and a bud. But this is not the best quality. Yeah, this is a perfect example. The two leaves and a bud. Two leaves and a bud. So he's saying trespassers will be prosecuted. So yeah, so this is Kiambu, uh, one of the main growers of tea in Nairobi, in Kenya. Me with the tea. So guys, I came back here just to see the place and also to try and see the quality. I'm still trying to see the quality of the different modes of the camera. So yeah, I'll keep trying, I'm still learning. And um, yeah, with time I'll get there, so yeah. Just be patient with me in case the quality sometimes doesn't look good. Yeah, I'm still learning. Probably sometimes I'll be doing the tutorials about using the GoPro Heroes 8 or any type of camera. So, but right now, be patient. This is the standard. I don't know which one looks better. I find cinematic to be more beautiful than standard. So that is a tea factory. Top over there. It's called Eden Tea or Curry. So as you can see, there's some homestead, some forest. So if anywhere there's tea, there's always a forest. Because uh, there's a process in uh, of tea where tea is burned and mostly most of the time guys use firewood yeah, that's why in tea, tea plantations you always find the forest
heading to places where we have a lot of coffee, coffee farms. So coffee and tea generally grows in the same you know, area, the dual and highlands, you know, with the very fertile soil, volcanic soil. And that's why some people prefer to grow coffee, some people prefer to grow tea. Yeah, over the years, uh, has been more rewarding in terms of sales so more and more guys planting tea more than coffee yeah but a while back that is in uh, the 60s 70s coffee was more grown in Kenya as compared to these days these days more farmers prefer tea actually so many guys are uh, planting coffee and uh, uh, start building uh, houses and that is one of the problems Kiambu is facing. A lot of guys are really building, are selling land, uh, farmland and building apartments because uh, land is very expensive around these places. It's very, very, very expensive. And if measures is not put in place, uh, uh, this may be, all this may be history. Side by side, these are coffee farms and electric poles. So these are just uh, transmitting power from one station to the other, or one location to the other across the country. So coffee grows mostly like a bush, basically. It's like a tree. Grow, uh, tea grows you know, uniformly, uniformly like uh, you may think it's a, it's a grass, it's a golf course, something like that. So, Gatada Farmers Yard. So this place is called Gatada. Gatada. And you have Sianda High School. Like, I just love how the trees are. You know. These are the places you see the roads is very clear, there's not much traffic, and the nature is just beautiful. This is something I wish to see every day. So, on my on this other side, this these are also tea, but it's a uh, it's kind of it's a, it's a different kind of tea, it's called the purple tea. It's very expensive. I don't know if we can be able to show you guys. So, that is those are the purple teas. It's not as green as the other one, it's a kind of purple, that's why it's called the purple tea. It features way, way higher returns, it's very premium. So actually some farmers are fruiting tea and are growing the purple tea. guys know you can leave a comment in the uh, comment section or I can read later on but uh, right now I'm driving so I can't really have so I wish I would wish I had stopped by the purple tea but it's all failed so uh, it would be like I'm trespassing someone's compound so I'm not I'm not able to just stop and show you guys same as I did to the tea and coffee So I've decided to stop by a coffee farm around Kiambu. So these are very green. They're yet to be ripping. So this is the coffee farm. As you can see. So I've just decided to check the coffee farms in Kiambu. Uh, 
So basically the coffee is still very green, so which means it's not ready for to be pruned, for lack of a better word. So they're, they're normally pruned when they're red, but as you can see, most of them are very green. These are coffee trees here. It's a coffee farm. Oops. <coughs> and Sassini is one of the companies that does coffee. just coffee farms. I'm cruising through coffee farms and uh, it's near Ndenderu actually. So near Ndenderu you have a lot of coffee and uh, tea farms. So the population is not really big around this place because of the four coffee farms but um, there's so many companies, uh, there's so many workers working around and uh, they live in an, in an estate. You know, that's one area that is quarantined. Is it quarantined? Enjoy, guys. Uh, so, guys, we are approaching Dumberi. Dumberi is about three kilometers from Kiambu town. So, uh, it's uh, it's actually slightly uh, affordable to live in Dumberi than in Kiambu town, because Kiambu town currently is uh, slightly more expensive. Um, and I was told there's a golf. I was reading an article and I was. Uh, Reading about it, it was very interesting that there's a golf course in Dumberi and uh, you find everyone playing golf like the commoners you don't really have to have the cash it was really interesting I wish I knew where it is though time is not on my side I'm not, I'll not be able to go there but uh, probably next time I'll because I'm in future I'm planning to go to Gedongori Gedongori is a, has a very rich history in terms of milk production so, and Gedongori is just very near to, to this place. So, this is Newberry. Uh, also, to, I also read in the same article that guys love, love gambling. I don't know how true it is, just reading an article. Um, so, yeah, talking about the golf course, it's very interesting that, like, you have a golf course where anyone and any, you know, from any rank plays a golf. I would wish to see that place because yeah, golf golf has its uh, name to be played by the rich. So actually, Dumberi is the first, um, like a small town. Uh, if you come from you know the Muru or using this road all the rest are just small very small shopping centers very small shopping centers and the rest is just tea and coffee farms I would actually prefer to live in such an environment where you just have very few people and greenery the vegetation the vegetation I love vegetation That is Quick Mart, one of the shopping centers around. Quick Mart is a shop, supermarket.
Kembu Government Prison. GK Prison Kembu. Wow, very close to the town. So this is not the main town. The main town is the other side. I'll just uh, I'll be heading to the main town main town in a short while. So just be patient. This is this is these are the back back street. I don't know how to call them, but yeah. Main town, as you can see. So, this is Kiambu town. We're getting into Kiambu town. So, Kiambu town has grown very fast over the last uh, decade. It has like shot up like crazy like crazy and the land prices on, uh, on just on another level the houses and everything just went up you know on houses are the reason why more and more guys are selling farmland to build apartments and houses This is the Kambu market. This is 
the market, the main market. It's a very nice rooftop. Huh? Very unique. And I think uh, some of this parking should just be left as a pedestrian footpath. Because you find a lot of guys walking on the main street, which is very dangerous because of the cars. And that's a common phenomenon in Kenya. You find most of the areas designated for uh, pedestrians find cars parking in them and it makes walking very hard well, we are still in the Kiambu main town main street and this is the Kiambu road it links to na it leads to Nairobi Mudaiga police station Fika road it's too many places Actually, we have, you know, a bit of traffic, but in actual sense, there is no traffic in this town. It's because of the bumps. There's so many bumps, and also the parking in the the junctions in different roads to different roads. I think that's the main reason for the traffic. But there's no right now. There's no real traffic. What you're seeing right now is around two. Two two thirty. Two thirty on a Tuesday. This is the Kiambu Hospital. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. We have the judiciary on this street. I'm not going to take you guys. Sorry. Sorry. road leads to C63 Rero. I used it once to one, on one of my videos it's also a very nice place so guys tell me if you like my video as raw as today uh, you like the music just leave a comment so many I get I keep getting a lot of comments so tell me how you like the videos would you like me to keep it this way or you like the normal way just the music and the name of the road so yeah so until next time see you guys Ciao, bye.